All right, say that I've got a website that is so incredibly busy, I need to share the load between two different web servers. I've got a test web server Oregon 1 and a test server Oregon 2 set up. I want some of the load of my website to go to Oregon 1 server, and I want some of the load to go to Oregon 2 server. How do I set this up? There are multiple ways that I can set this up. One of the easier ways of setting this up is through a DNS server, and we'll show you how that's done. First off, I'm going to go over to root 53 management, and I'm going to set up a server that will share between these two. Right now, I'm going to create a record set, and I'm going to call this DNSRR, short for DNS round robin, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip back over here, and I'm going to look at test server organ 1. I'm going to copy the IP address for test server Oregon 1. I'm going to plop it into the IP address here. I'm going to do a new line. I'm going to flip over here. I'm going to select test server Oregon 2. Copy the DNS address. Plop it down over here. And that's actually about as simple as you can manage to get. I'm going to hit create. It's going to grind away here for a little bit. And now I've got my DNS round robin. I have two IP addresses for both of those servers set up. So if I were to take this IP address, I'm going to go ahead and copy it, not copying that last period. Open up a new web browser, paste it in, and it's gone to test server organ 2. I can refresh this as many times as I want. It'll stay at test server organ 2 until that record expires which in this case I think is about five minutes, and then I might get a new IP address out of it. In fact, I can open up a command prompt here. I can type in nslookup, which as we know is a great tool for looking up, well, name server names, dnsrr.webdev.training. And I can see that it's looked it up and I've got both my IP addresses there that I put in as they are both options for what I can actually look up and run. Now I can go to web page speed test here. I can paste this URL in, hit enter, start my test, and after a little bit of grinding, great, and by looking at this it found test server Oregon 1. At this point I've got a very simple DNS record that allows me to share the load from one server to another. Disadvantages of doing things this way, if I take down either server, there's going to be nothing that magically makes this go from one server to the other. That is, if I shut down the server on this IP address, half of my requests are going to fail. They're not going to automatically go to server number two. Also, if I have two servers that are at different speeds, if the top server is twice as fast as the bottom server. It's not going to magically know that when I put this together. One more really important case. Consider what if person A got this IP address and person B got this IP address. If person A just gets one web request, decides this is not the website they want, and then leaves, but person B decides this is the web server that they wanted and does 100 requests, all of a sudden you've got a hundred times the load on this server than you did on this server. With DNS round robin, it distributes who it gives the IP addresses to, but it has no control over how much load any of those people actually make on the servers. Therefore, the load on the servers might not actually be distributed. Just who they're given to is distributed, not any sort of control on what those people do with those servers.